we're back out here on the never-ending deck job so this morning I've taken down the swing the wife got the majority of the wood all stained last night now that the swings down she can stain the rest of this and I'm getting ready I've started taking down the scaffold already because I'm gonna move it around to this side I'm gonna get these last two rafters up cut that piece of tin down to where it's got to be cut down to and then get the screen track on on this side and I'll put this screen into place then we'll move around to this section finish the track put the screen in place and then move down to that section finish the track and put the screen in place and then screen those two I don't know how far we're going to get today but we're going to make it as far as we can make it until we're either too hot too tired or too out of light we'll see what happens stick around make sure you've clicked that thumb and uh, we appreciate you thank you these leg leveling jacks come in clutch when you're on uneven surfaces like anywhere in east tennessee so got it set up i'm two scaffolds high i can put my walk board there and then I'm ready to start working on that roof. All right, so I've got the last two rafters up. The blocking board in there, the last piece of foam on this side. Now I've got a foam in across that rafter. And I've got to finish the piece of foam in there, which is actually a piece and a half. I've got this built out. All the frame track is on for the screen on this side of the porch so all I lack I'm gonna put those four pieces of foam in there and then I can go ahead and put this screen on which that should be fun because it is a 8 by 8 piece of screen so it'll be real easy to get the wrinkles out of that I'm sure hey right, guys John with the Pro Cup back out here on the never-ending deck build it's starting to get close so I've ordered another piece of this 2x2 channel. It's in at Depot. I gotta go pick it up and that'll go across the top of this door header. I've got this end screened in. And now this morning I've moved my scaffolding from this side over to here where it's at. I finished staining this board and I siliconed all the edges after I stained it. Now I do need to go back to the store to get another section of this screen tight. Jeez, making a mess with this silicone. And then I've got, I don't know if you can see over there, probably not, but I got a mini track that runs down that post. So I need to do one here, one here, and one here. So I've got three more mini tracks that need to get done which are kind of a pain because I've got to cut them in around this handrail top and bottom. So a little tricky, but not a big deal. And uh, that's where I'm at right now. So I'm going to run to the store and hey, this will be the thumbnail. Get it? Thumbnail. But uh, anyway, all right. Thanks for watching. So I got the two side mini tracks in, the bottom mini track, and the top track, and the screen is now in. trim cap across the top but it's still loose on this end because I still got to do this section of screen so I have one more mini track to put in on the side and then one more across the bottom and I'll be ready to screen this and I got my 2x2 two two track for the header so I'll be able to put that in and screen all that so tomorrow she'll be all screened up and this one came out the best but man as I'm putting this screen in here I do not like this mini track. Uh, I don't recommend it. This screen tight track, the plastic stuff, is working well. Uh, it's not quite as clean of a look because you wind up with the black on the edge, but it's still it's a lot easier to deal with. And this two inch stuff has a proper size channel in it as well. So the mini track. It's a no from me. I won't be using that again in the future. 
but it is what it is for now and I'm getting it done I just don't care for it all right back out here on the deck job this morning well this afternoon if I'm being honest we went to Costco this morning so that section of the deck is done <clears throat> now I've got to move this handrail out a little bit more and loosen the bottom one and then zip out my trim down there zip out this trim over here the rest of the way and then I've got one more mini track to put up here and down the bottom but on this side uh, last night I went ahead and put in my 2x2 two two and screens that section so now I've just got to screen this section and this section and this wall will be done so two more pieces of mini track and three more sections of screen and we'll be done for the weekend and the only thing left on the porch is some flashing and waterproofing those two joints right there and the same thing on that side other than that this section of the deck is done and then out here on the main section of the deck i've just got that one more rip board and then it'll be good and then in the it's probably going to wait until the spring but i'll still need to put the fascia board around the outside of the deck framing i'll show you that real quick <clears throat> where i've just got the bare wood here i'm going to get a color matched fascia board from trex to cover up that whole edge it'll just give it a little bit cleaner look so on with the screen that's what we got going on today and uh we should be able to finish this up rather quickly hopefully another section of screen is done the caps are on i put some white silicone up there now i'm going to go ahead and screen these last two sections and she'll be all screened in then uh, a little bit of foam at the base on either side of the door then this wall and trim around the door and windows will get repainted and then some new vinyl trim at the base and the interior of this porch is wrapped up i may or may not have said this already but this mini track here it's three quarter inch by three quarter inch you can pick it up at lowe's and depot and uh, i recommend that you don't it is terrible to try and freaking screen and get the spline in that mini track the uh, the gap is much tighter than the gap in the two inch track and the plastic screen tight track yeah the mini track no bueno two thumbs down don't do it it's uh it's trash definitely 100 percent do not recommend the screen type mini track uh avoid it like the plague it's terrible so one more section's done all that we lack is this section and unfortunately the piece of screen i had isn't quite long enough to freaking finish that so i'm gonna have to double check the barn for more screen or run to the store and i siliconed that in and that still have to go up and take care of flashing and waterproof in that section in on both sides but I did silicone that section on both sides getting close to wrapping up this never-ending deck build maybe all right guys so I've got the screen all finished up now the cap is on and man I'm really impressed with how these two inch ones joined up with that cap they're perfect and uh, everything came out real nice. Now, I ran out of screen, but I did have a little bit of clear view left. This clear view stuff is really amazing. It's a lot more money than the regular screen, but man, the, the difference in the clarity, let me show you from the inside and you'll be able to tell. Okay, here's the regular screen. I don't know if the video is going to do it justice. That stuff looks pretty uh, good on the reg on the video too. And then here's the clear view. Regular. This is the regular. 
I've got it pressed all the way up against it. And the clear view. Really a uh, big difference in the visibility through the clear view, but the regular stuff's not too terrible. So it's all good to go. And uh, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys on the next one. There's just a couple more little things to wrap up on this job. All right, guys. It's a uh, Saturday late morning and I haven't filmed the last few bits of this other than a couple of update clips but let me show you where we're at on the uh, never ending deck build so all the screen is in I've still got a flash and waterproof these two tops where the roof meets right here on both ends but she's got her bistro set in here carpet side table the bistro lights are up around the edge curtains on that end the swing she's got it decorated for fall and yeah job nearly done thanks for watching like comment and subscribe